Hello there, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now today I'm talking about footwear and more importantly the repairability of footwear because I often say to people you know shoes, boots are such an important part of your ensemble of clothing. When you meet somebody for the first time you look at their shoes instinctively and you will draw an inference about that person dependent on what you see at the end of their feet. If their shoes are dirty, they've had no attention leveled upon them, you know, if they're scruffy, unshone, you will draw a conclusion about the person that you're talking to. But if you meet somebody whose shoes are clean at the very least, maybe polished, maybe they have a mirror shine on their shoes, it tells you something different, you know you're in the presence of somebody who has an attention for detail and they're interested in their general appearance, which is a good beginning to any first impression that you seek to get across to somebody else. Now, I often say to people, make a considered investment in your footwear because, you know, I know it stings to pay a lot of money for a good pair of shoes. They're expensive items, and rightly so. They're constructed of expensive components, and it takes an expert artisan to put them together. So let's be honest, we expect to pay good money for a good pair of shoes. But there's another reason why I say to people, make a considered investment in your footwear. The advantage of buying expensive or well-constructed, let's not say expensive, you can pay a lot of money for a poor quality shoe. But if you buy a good quality shoe, there's repairability built into the overall package because, you know, you can have them repaired. They, if, particularly if they're Goodyear welted shoes or Blake stitch shoes, that's the construction by which the sole is adhered to the upper. If they're Goodyear welted or Blake stitch, there's a mechanical connection between upper and bottom and sole. It means they can be repaired and those shoes can go on for quite some lifetime with you. If you buy inexpensive shoes and the sole is adhered to the upper by cement or glue of some kind, generally speaking, when that sole parts from the upper, which they invariably will do at some point, you know, they're no longer viable. They can't really be repaired in any you know, serious manner. It's time to go in the bin. So whatever you've paid for those shoes is gone. Whereas if you've bought a good year welted pair of shoes, you enter another phase of your journey with them. And I reached just such a point with the boots I have here on the table. Because these boots, these are by British manufacturer Chini. Now they're a brand which I favour because I like Chini's heritage and history. They've been around since, let me check, 1886. I've been to their factory in Desborough in Northamptonshire, the epicentre of Goodyear welted shoe manufacture in the world, you know, the home of some of the best brands of all time of men's footwear. Brands like Cheney, Churches, Crockett and Jones, Sanders, and so on and so on, Trickers, you name it, if it's a good quality pair of shoes, it's probably made in Northamptonshire. And Cheney is right amongst that bundle of these brands which are making fantastic shoes. Now they were in family ownership for the majority of their lifetime, but in recent years they were uh, purchased by the family that own Church Shoes. Uh, church famously sold their shoe brand to Prada, uh, but the, ch the church family bought the Cheney company. And they do make very good quality shoes in their small little factory in Desborough. Uh, and I think they're slightly more approachable prices than maybe a Crockett and Jones level. So I bought this pair of um, suede chucker boots earlier this year in fact uh, and um, they're called Jesmond which is the brand it's no longer in manufacture by Chini but they, they do a similar model these days and it's in a beautiful plum color I purchased the suede chucker boot particularly to have as a semi-formal or casual boot for the summer months when I'm wearing chinos and things like that uh, because you know brogues are fine but when you want to just dial it down a couple of notches on the volume of style scale, I find suede chucker boots are an excellent uh, choice. Now I purchased these from a, uh, an online store which specializes in selling lightly worn pre-owned shoes. And I paid a touch over 
£100 for these shoes. At the time, they, the sole was pretty immaculate. It didn't look like they'd been worn very much at all. Now, originally, this boot would have cost £340 from Chini. And as I say, when I bought it, it was immaculate. The sole had light scuffing, but I really connected with these boots and I have worn them to hell and back, I have to say. Um, I've worn them on holiday. I went to Copenhagen earlier in the, in the spring and I wore, they didn't come off my feet for the whole time I was there, you know, trekking around the city. And that began my love affair with these boots because the plum color I found was a perfect uh, marriage with any number of other garments or items or clothing colors, which I wore. So they've been really off my feet. In fact, I haven't really followed the rules of good quality footwear, you know, wear for one day, allow them to rest on a last wear the next day, you know, not continually wearing them, exposing them to the perspiration from your feet and so on. I've really given these boots a trial by fire. And of course, you know, the, the obvious, the inevitable has happened and I have worn through the leather soles. Um, as you can see, there's a little hole in the middle of the sole and I noticed it just the other day. I didn't even realize they were wearing down. The heel has worn away somewhat too. So I've come to a point in my journey with these boots where realistically I can't wear them on a day-to-day -day basis because if I were to wear them at anything like damp or wet conditions, my foot is going to be uh, sodden. It's going to become wet because that hole through the leather uh, now exposes the cork bed of the footwear and water would quickly seep through that and uh, impregnate the shoe and I would get a wet foot and of course that damage would continually be done. Now the beauty of buying something from a brand such as Chini is that they're a classic Goodyear welted shoe and that means I now have a few options which would not be available to somebody who perhaps had bought an inexpensive boot their option range is much smaller. Now to me, I've got three choices here. My first choice, and the least desirable, if you're at all interested in sustainability and getting, getting as much value for your money as you can, is option number one. I throw them away. They're no longer viable to be worn, uh, even though the upper is in all intents and purposes immaculate and has you know a decade of wear left in them, because the sole has gone through they go in the bin, they go to landfill, and this beautiful piece of workmanship is lost for me forever. That's not a route I want to take. Even though I only paid £100 or so for these boots instead of the original £340, I think there's another option. Option number two is to take them to my local cobbler my shoe repair shop, where I know from experience that they will offer me a couple of options. They can either stick a, a rubber patch over the existing leather sole, as it is, uh, that'll just cover up the hole and provide a new sole in effect, uh, adhered to this existing sole by some sort of glue. Um, that will cost around about 40 to 45 pounds in my experience. It's a temporary measure. It's not curing the hole in the sole. All it's doing is covering it over. Now they could either do that with another leather sole or a rubber sole. So I could have an option there, one or the other, but really and truly, it's a short term fix. It's gonna last a couple of years at best, depending on how much you wear it. And then when that wears away or starts to come undone where the adhesive will fail over repeated exposure to the wet and the cold, as of course they will because they're shoes, you wear them on the ground, um, I'd need to go through that process again. It'll be another 40, maybe 45, 50 pounds by then. It's not by any means a long-term fix. But the option which I'm going to choose today is a factory refurbishment. Because I've bought these boots from a reputable company, which is still in existence, has been making boots for well over, what, 130, 40 years or so now, I have the option of a factory refurbishment. It will cost £125. Now initially, you recoil in horror. £125, that's more than you paid for the boots. That is true. However, as I said before, the boots are immaculate. The suede has got a decade of life left in it. Merely the leather sole has worn through. If I send these boots back for my £125, they will be going back to their birthplace in the factory in Desborough 
in England, where they will be taken out of the box, which I send them in, and they will be fully assessed by a professional shoemaker who's been making these shoes probably for an entire professional career. They will see what is required in that refurbishment process. They will place the boot back on the original last, the, uh, the model, the formed model of the shoe, which this boot began its life on. So it'll go, it'll, it'll be the exact last where this came from. The perfect fit for the shoe. Um, at that point, I've got a number of options as well. So they will replace the sole for me and any of the other uh, parts of the shoe which require that process. So in my case, I'm going to want a new sole, a new heel. I have a choice. Whatever soles this boot was originally made available in, I can choose. So in this case, as you can see, I have leather. It's worn through rather quickly for me. I'm going to ask if they can replace it with a rubber sole. Now, I'm not entirely sure if these boots were offered with a rubber sole because I say they're no longer in production. So I'm going to take a punt and in my notes to the uh, repairer, I'm going to say, can I have a rubber sole? If that's not available, go with leather. So it'll be interesting to see what turns up, but hopefully it will be a rubber sole. That's an option available to me because the factory will remove the sole entirely. So that welt, which the sole is uh, stitched onto, which Goodyear welting is all about, um, that will be removed, it will be replaced. The cork bedding, basically that, that soft spongy bit underneath the sole, which makes one's uh, shoe quite comfortable, that will be replaced. There's probably a wooden shank in here, which provides the rigidity and the stability for the shoe, that will be replaced the heel will be replaced. So basically all of the bits which are in contact with the ground will be replaced. Inside the shoe uh, they will also place, replace the insole. A leather insole obviously it's the bit that your foot sits on, comfort is important there, that's going to re be replaced and also we'll have a new pair of laces too. So I might take the Lee's laces out before I send them in and I'll keep these as a spare. While they're about it, now in my case it's a suede boot which I'm sending in, so there's not a great deal which will be required to be done. But should these boots have been made of leather, um, they will be fully refinished. So they will be taken back to the finishing room and they will be polished or any old polish will be removed and they will be refinished. In effect, I expect to have a boot which looks brand new in return for £125. And I should also mention, for that £125, it includes shipping into the factory and back to the factory. So when I place my order, I get a shipping label, which I get sent to me. I stick that on the box, which I'm about to send in. It's fully paid for and then returned by courier, fully paid for too. All for my £125. So when you weigh all these things up, even my shoes, which I paid £100 for, I've worn them for a year. I'm going to send them into the factory, they will come back. If you take all of that into account, these boots at this point will have cost me, let's say £225. That is still £15 less than the original price and they'll have been worn for an extended period of time and fully refurbished. So from my point of view, as a consumer, I'm very comfortable with a factory refurbishment. Now I'm going to put them in the box and I'm going to send them off and when they return, which incidentally the estimated return time, they say expected 10 weeks. I'm hoping it'll be a bit less than that, but we will uh, keep track of the time and I will let you know when they return and we will see them. For you, it'll just be a few seconds. For me, it's going to be a number of weeks. And when I come back, we will see what Chini has done for us. Hello there, folks. Welcome back. For you, it's just been a brief moment. For me, it's been seven whole weeks and the seasons have changed. And as you can probably tell, it's a little cooler now than when it was when we first met, but my shoes have arrived. Now don't forget, the estimated time for delivery is 10 weeks. So seven weeks is a bit of a result. And what do we get? Well, this came to my door with a courier the other day. It is a brand new Joseph Cheney and Sons shoe box, all logoed up and inside, as if I was buying these shoes from brand new, are my factory refurbished shoes. Both of them are in there. Put that to one side and let's talk about the job that they've done. First of all, the important thing is the sole. Um, actually, they were not able 
to fit a day night sole to these boots because they didn't supply them with a day night sole and your option really is what was originally available on the sole so i've ended up with a joseph cheney and sons leather sole and beautiful finished it's embossed with the Chini logo and a brand new heel. I can see all the brass heel tacks, the plastic inset where the heel is, which takes the, the burden of hitting the ground. And the, the, the boot, of course, looks absolutely brand new, as splendid. If I look inside, I can see that the, um, the inside of the shoe, there's a new um, heel piece with Joseph Cheney, a leather piece in there. And of course, if it was a leather shoe, they would have replaced whatever was necessary on the inside as part of the refurbishment. Um, they've even given me a new pair of contrasting laces, which are sort of an oatmeal color, which um, I think will look great. I had previously had these boots with um, a, a, a lace which was the same colour as the suede. Now with this contrasting oatmeal colour, I think it's going to look perfect for the summer months. But looking at the job which has been done, and this is obviously the important thing, the, uh, the working is exquisite. Because let's not forget, these boots went straight back onto the original last in the factory from which they were originally derived, so they were made upon. Um, all of those pieces of work that need to be done, everything that was replaced, like the, the welt, the sole, the heel, the sock on the inside, um, the cork bed, the comfortable bit, all of that was changed. So in essence, to me, I have to tell you, this looks like a brand new boot. And don't forget, it cost £125. So I'm exceptionally pleased with the result. And if you have a pair of boots or shoes from a reputable company which offers a factory refurbishment, hopefully you will have used this video to perhaps make a decision. Rather than throw those boots away, you have an alternative. You can get them factory refurbished and what you get for that investment will essentially be a boot which looks brand new and for all intents and purposes, it is. You know, the finish is excellent. The job is without question superb. So there we go. I hope this video on sending your shoes away for a factory refurbishment has been of some use to you today. If it has, don't forget, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And you can practically support the channel by buying me a coffee. And the link on how to do that you will find in the show notes below. So until the next time, Wear your quality shoes or boots with pride in the knowledge that when they do wear out, there is an alternative to throwing them away. You can get them factory refurbished and your investment will keep those boots or shoes going on in perpetuity. So until the next time, take care and I will see you again very soon. <laughs>